Hi, this is Lady C. Welcome to Creative Studio. Now, during the pandemic, you probably have had some issues if you're working from home, dealing with having to work with only one monitor. And everybody doesn't have the ability to, you know, have multiple monitors like you had at your job. And even at your job, you may not have used dual monitors. But in this episode, I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Windows 10 virtual desktops. That's right. They have a feature that allows you to open up multiple desktops on your computer. So let's hop to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my email because I want my email to be on my desktop one. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put multiple applications across different desktops. So to start off, we want to make sure that we have something on desktop one. So now if I go to the task view button at the bottom of the screen, then you're going to notice that like on this desktop that I'm on right now, you're going to notice that there's already like um, Microsoft Outlook here. So at the top left hand corner of the screen, I'm going to choose new desktop. And so you'll notice how desktop one contains my inbox uh, for Microsoft Outlook. And then I can go and literally click on desktop two. So now I'm actually on desktop two. And this time I want to start Microsoft Word. And I'm going to go down to my taskbar because I have my, my buttons are pinned to my taskbar. If you don't have these applications pinned to your taskbar button, you can also go to the window, which is the start button, and you can choose it from here as well. Okay, so I'll show you both ways. So here's Microsoft Word here. And you can also start it, like I said, on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up a document, a blank document. And Microsoft Word is actually going to be on desktop two. How, how do we know that? We're going to go back down to the task view button. And then you're going to notice how desktop two has a Microsoft Word document. And desktop one houses my Outlook email. And now I'm going to open up a third desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign to get me to my third desktop. And I'm going to click on desktop three. And then I'm going to come down to the taskbar, Microsoft Excel. Click on that. And it's going to open up on this third desktop. And I'm going to ask for a blank workbook. So now, if you're working on multiple projects in your office and you don't want to have to click through like alt tabbing or trying to figure out where your application is because you're so busy, all you have to do is switch between the desktops. So how do you get back to desktop one, two, or three? Just go back down to the task view button on the taskbar. Click on that. You get a phone call. You need to go deal with this Microsoft Word document on desktop two. You just simply go and click on desktop two, and it takes you into Microsoft Word. Now, you find out that someone just told you that you have an email, that, that you should be expecting an email. So you go back down to the taskbar, hit the task view button, click on desktop one, because this is where your email is at. So it kind of helps you spread across the area of the computer and only using one monitor. And this has been a lifesaver for so many people who don't have that extra real estate on their computer where they can, you know, switch between different monitors, but instead you're able to switch between different desktops. Now the beauty about these desktops is this. If I go down to the taskbar again and choose task view button, and then I decide I want to start closing some of these desktops out, if I go up and I close out of desktop three and I click on the X to close it, it's going to throw my application onto desktop two. And if I close out of desktop two, it's going to throw those applications onto desktop one. So you can never accidentally 
close the desktop and lose your information because it just simply moves it one desktop to the left so that you preserve your open applications and you don't lose anything. So now all I have is one desktop open and I have three applications on the desktop. So now if I want to start closing out these applications, I can just hover my mouse pointer over whatever application that I want to remove from the screen and I can just click on the X in the top right hand corner of the screen and it will close my application. The same thing for Microsoft Word. I can go ahead, hover my mouse pointer over the application, point to the X and click. Same thing with my Microsoft Outlook. So this really makes for a nice feature in Windows 10. Now, if you enjoyed these tips, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next video.